Yo, yo, what's going on, y'all? We're back for another weekly update of your EMF franchise. This is week 11, kicking it off with the game of the week, Rams versus the Ravens. Lamar Jackson's going to drop back here and get a little pass. It's not going to lead to a touchdown, but they'll get the three points and take the early lead. Now they're driving again in the red zone, looking open, and throws it right to his linebacker. And that is a costly turnover there. Jared Goff's going to drop back here and launch one down the field. What a dot over the top. Unfortunately, it would also only lead to three points. And with only 16 seconds left in the half, Lamar Jackson is going to make something happen as we have a missed tackle there and an easy TD to Roberts. Now going into the second. Half we're gonna begin with a Cooper Cup broken tackle out to the outside in a huge return to start it and he's gonna actually be stopped by a shoe lace tackle what a tackle there and it's gonna get them in for a touchdown there and it's gonna be a 10 to 9 game now over here over the top tried to get something going and threw a pick at the one yard line he was actually able to get up and get some yards out of that so he's not so pinned in deep and they would drive down the field and Lamar Jackson would get in the end zone now here we are fourth and three five minutes left they need to make something happen here and get sacked in the red zone I'm most likely taking my three points there and moving on and trusting the defense back here Lamar Jackson's gonna throw a pick and it's gonna go down to the 13 yard line there is a flag for holding but that is obviously going to get declined and they're going to get the ball here and able to put something going find someone in the back nope gets deflected and this time he will take the three points instead of trying to risk it and go now interesting decisions by the ravens in the late game he's gonna throw it on third and four instead of trying to chew this clock up a little bit and throw a pick and now jared goff's gonna have some time to make some magic happen find someone over the top and throws a pick and guess what he is gonna take this one back for a touchdown and they're gonna have the commanding 24 to 12 lead with a minute left now jared goff with only a minute has a wide open cooper in the end zone what a dot now here we are third and ten and he decides he's gonna pass and run out of bounds so with 48 seconds left he's gonna actually go for it on fourth and sixth and give the rams great field position not sure what was going through his mind there as he is gonna actually blow the game with only a minute left he was up 12 and you see the coach is not happy as they're gonna take the loss there now hopping over to the patriots versus the cowboys starting off prescott trying to get something going chucks one up and nothing's gonna happen there but they will get the three points and take the early lead as that is not a bad start now the next drive a little while later james white's gonna do his thing cut out and in and get a huge run and this is gonna get in for a touchdown somehow he's able to squeeze through and everything now he's looking back here trying to find someone dak prescott actually got hurt but he was managed cooper with another catch every week we see one he is the dirtiest receiver out there right now and he's gonna get three points and only be down by one now here instead of trying to go to the outside there he's gonna try and cut back in to get the first and won't do it and they're gonna take a 10 to 6 lead going into the fourth fourth and three here they need to make something happen looking for an open receiver chucking one deep and oh a flag is going to be pass interference. He's going to take it and he's going to try and make something happen here and throw a pick. It's not going to go all the way though, luckily, but still not what you're looking for there. And then he's going to get in for a touchdown and take the 17 to 6 lead with only two minutes left. Chucking one deep and again, Amari Cooper trucks two people over while making the catch and goes into the end zone what a catch every week he does it here james white is gonna get another massive run go back out in and he's gone 24 to 12 
nothing they could do now fourth and ten they have to do something here and he's gonna get sacked and it's gonna cost them the game as the Patriots are gonna win this one 27 to 12 what a good game unfortunately he did have some injuries on the Cowboys side but now checking out around the league we had some close games this week as we had the Texans and Colts splitting it by only three points there as well as Broncos Bills also we had the Titans secure their first victory of the season, beating the top person in their division. That is a good sign to see as now he can get his winning ways going. Saints still showed who's dominant in that division and kept the blowouts going. And the Browns stay undefeated. Now checking over to the AFC standings. We have some close teams again. The Patriots were able to pick up the dub and the Bills took a L. So that's going to make this division by one. They're tied again. They are tied again. We don't know who's going to take this division. Definitely one of the divisions to look over for the next couple of weeks. As well as the AFC West as the Broncos and the Raiders are both going to take dubs this week. And make that division as close as it can get. We will have the Chiefs and Raiders facing off this week. We will decide who's going to go up in the division more. Broncos also have a tough opponent this week. And all three of these teams need to make sure that they're winning their games as it comes down to the final stretch. Checking over with the AFC North and South. It is a similar situation on the South side as the Jags are going to take a loss to the worst team in the league drop down and the Colts are going to be tied with them for that division lead as they picked up a dub and we don't know which way this is going to go the next couple weeks so keep an eye out for the AFC South the North they are a powerhouse team the Ravens did lose that game as you guys saw at the beginning and they lost in a very bad way as they made bad decisions towards the end and it might cost them, but I still think that they should secure a wild card spot. They still should be okay. But with the Browns still staying undefeated, I don't think that the Ravens have any chance of winning that division. But wild card should be able to get secured. Bengals are took an L last week, and that means he really has to get things going as the wild card spot in the AFC is really gonna start heating up between a couple different teams now we're gonna check over to the nfc we have the 49ers and rams still spreaded by one game as they both were taking dubs this week making that division still super interesting we're not sure if the niners or the rams are gonna pull it out right now it's looking like the rams are too dominant and they'll be able to pull it out completely over on the east with their quarterback out the cowboys took an l last week and i don't think that they're gonna have a chance at winning the division at all now as the giants move to 10 and 1 really securing that side of the division um, the cowboys do still have a chance at wild card but they need to start winning these games coming down to the end and last but not least we have the north and south both divisions interesting the bears and the falcons both looking at wild card spots as well as the buccaneers but the lions with a win last week and the Bears going down a game facing the Giants, it's going to make it to where I think the Lions are going to end up taking that division. They will face off this week and that can change the division quite a bit, but I'm liking the odds of the Lions in the rest of the games remaining because of how well they have been playing on the NFC South side. I see the Falcons coming up. I think they're going to be able to secure that second wild card spot depending on what the Bears and other teams do. But I think the the Falcons are in good luck to secure that second wild card spot. I think the Bucks are completely out for the rest of the season. I don't know if they're going to be able to bounce back after a couple losses. We will see though on the next coming weeks. The Saints prove again that they are the dominant team in the division as the last couple weeks they have beat every team in their division and this week he will be facing off against the Falcons making things interesting 
and we will see what will really happen in that division that is going to be all for your weekly update i will have the playoff picture and stuff next week as i'm working on a different graphic format for it you guys keep killing it so we're advancing fast making it hard to edit these videos so fast but keep up the good work y'all we're going with it and we're growing we're gonna keep it moving hopefully you guys enjoy these and we out Wanna be me, hit him with the cross, ankles fall now, pass the ball, ballin, ballin, that's what we do, ballin, ballin, I will shoot. Wanna be me, hit him with the cross, ankles fall now, pass the ball, ballin, ballin, that's what we do, ballin, ballin, I will shoot. Ballin.